For the last two years, I've been shooting my documentary series, Confucius Was a Foodie, all over the world. I want you to join me for one of my most memorable experiences. This is Pingxi, Taiwan, a remote town about an hour outside of Taipei that every year at the end of Chinese New Year becomes an enchanted place where dreams are let loose into the sky. All these people are here for Sky Lantern Festival, and according to local stories, this all started more than 2,000 years ago. Back then, the village was frequently raided by outlaws, forcing locals to run to the mountains to hide. Village watchmen used fire balloons to signal that it was safe to return. Over the years, this has blended with the traditional lantern festival that ends Chinese New Year and has resulted into something truly magical. Dreams and wishes are written on thousands of fire lanterns that are taken to the sky with hopes for a fortuitous future. Remember to look up, look way up. This is Lantern Festival in Taoyuan, Taiwan. Depending on how you look at it, it's either the end of Chinese New Year or the first important festival of the spring season. In the two years that I've been shooting my series, Confucius Was a Foodie, I've experienced a lot, but this Lantern Festival celebrating the Year of the Monkey was pretty memorable. And like spring, everywhere there's rain, but the reflections only make it all the more special. Celebrated 15 days after New Year, this festival likely began as a sign of appreciation for the first full moon of the spring. People hung simple paper lanterns, but today's displays are, as you can see, a little more elaborate.
Christine Cushing from Confucius was a foodie. Welcome to Xilin Night Market in Taipei, the largest market in Taiwan. This place is filled with mouth-watering aromas. Over to the right is a popular street food called coffin toast. It's a thick slice of bread with lots of filling options. This is teppanyaki. Here in Taiwan, the cuisine has a lot of Japanese influence. After all, Japan ruled here for 50 years. This is iron griddle cooking, classic Japanese, but here the dishes incorporate local Taiwanese and Western flavors. So remember I said that it smelled good in here? Well, except for this. This is stinky tofu, a national obsession in Taiwan. This one is made with spicy duck blood, and if you can get it past your nose, there are some interesting textures. A combination of gelatinous and spongy, a memorable mouthful. This is Bing. Well, actually, two Bings. One sort of a crepe or super thin pancake, the other, the smaller Bing, a flaky pastry. Here they wrap a smaller one inside a larger one, all with different sweet or savory fillings. And there's always a lineup for this popular snack. Drinks are super popular here. After eating all the fried foods, they're a great way to cool down. Some have interesting textures, like the one made with a local jelly. Oyster omelets are a favorite here, and they're a street food staple all over Taiwan, actually. This is part of the above ground market. Before you go, you can grab two more Taiwanese specialties, ginger tea and pineapple cakes. Thanks for coming along, and don't forget to look for Confucius was a foodie online and on TV.